everyone. Welcome to our first Heart to Heart webinar. I am Surinder, CEO. Uh, my story is very much like most parents. I read a lot with my older son when he was a baby and a toddler, and he went on to become an avid reader. He was reading Harry Potter series while in the first and the second grade. But with my younger son, because of some family issue, I was not able to give him time as a baby and toddler. He did not like to read at all and would make all kinds of excuses. I had the challenge of making reading easy and interesting for kids like him who would just run away from reading. This is how Smart Kids Club was born. We studied various different researches relating to early reading and educational apps before we designed Smart Kids Club. And it is now more than ever benefiting parents during COVID times when kids are home and parents are struggling to keep up with their foundation skills of reading and math. We are very happy to start this webinar series, a very interactive webinar with parents where you will get to interact with us and ask questions at the end. Uh, here are some reminders. You can type your questions in the chat anytime during the presentation and please keep your mic on mute until the question answer session um, in the end. So here's what we'll cover today in the first 15, 20 minutes and leave the rest for questions and uh, feedback and comments. Uh, so the first is why read aloud? Uh, robotic versus human nourishing. Top five tips for reading aloud and then Q&A sessions. Now, why read aloud? We all know that early language begins from hearing. Kids learn a lot from listening to adults, talking to them or talking to each other. But a very recent study has shown that reading aloud to children more than talking builds literacy. Now, why is that? We all use the lazy tongue when we talk. We replace this and that and there for a lot of things and also use gestures to point to things instead of words. So we talk at a very basic level. This study found that picture books are two to three times as likely as parent-child conversations to include a word that is not among the 5,000 most common English words. So picture books contain more uncommon words than even adult conversations. So there's a classic example. You look at the same um, page in a book from our Smart Kids Club book on the left, and you will see how there are a lot more words used on the left in the book. Whereas when we are talking about the same thing, we will just use, she looked there and there, pointing in the direction of where the person is looking and um, Kitty is not there. So picture books and reading stories aloud introduces children to an extensive vocabulary. And reading aloud is the best way to help children get word mastery. They come across new words and grammatical understanding. And these two things are the, the ones that form the basis for learning how to read. Uh, uh, the second important reason for why you need to read aloud to kids is the amount of time that adults spend reading aloud with preschoolers and young children predicts their reading skills in elementary school. Now, there is a very recent study in 2019 that found one million word gap for kids entering kindergarten who had never been read to at home. So you can see in the chart that the kids who were never read to at home had only heard about 4,500 words by the time they turned five years. So the importance here is that you need to read daily and more than a couple of books daily in order to introduce them to more than a million words. So if your child is not reading daily or is never being read to aloud, they are losing out. They begin kindergarten way behind other kids who are reading more than five books daily. So it's very important to read aloud before, even before the age of five years. Now, lastly, reading aloud benefits behavior and attention among kids. Now, there has been a 2018 study that shows that a parent-child reading aloud can help stop problem behaviors like aggression, hyperactivity, difficulty with attention, now this study was done with children, again, from birth to five years, very young children. When parents read with their children more, uh, when they talk about books more, when they play with their children more, 
the children have an opportunity to think about the characters, to think about the feelings of those characters, and they learn to use words to describe feelings that are otherwise difficult, which enables them to better control their behavior. Now, parents, many parents struggle with kids who are throwing tantrums, you know, and it's mostly because the, the child is facing some kind of a sadness or anger, but he's not able to um, verbalize it. They're not able to say it out in words. So reading aloud has really large impacts on children's behavior that also continues into elementary school. So it forms a basis of their future success in elementary school. So now when reading aloud, the best way that we suggest is when a parent or an adult reads aloud to the child. So this is the best mode, but this is not the ideal mode because if many parents don't have time, which was the case with me too. So if a parent does not have the time and is using a digital mode of reading or a digital story or an app, it is important to make sure that a voice is an expressive human voice. So here is a very interesting um, you know, uh, difference. You can see yours for yourself. I'm going to play a, a robotic voice versus a human expressive voice. And you can see which one you connect with more. So here is the robotic voice first. My cat toy can run. And now I'm going to play the human voice. My cat toy can run. So even humans, uh, like uh, even as adults, we connect with the human expressive voice more than the robotic voice, which is flat and which doesn't have any expression and which sometimes conveys the wrong meanings because the pause is at different times or there is no pause at all. So a study also confirmed with children that children pay more attention, are more engaged and remember the story more with a human expressive voice than a robotic flat voice. So which is why Smart Kids Club books all use a human expressive narration. So we have a human who's recording these books based on the age and skill of the child, which is extremely important for the child to be engaged in a story. So now coming to the five important tips of how to read aloud with your children using Smart Kids Club. Now the first tip is to use the right mode for your child uh, based on his level and experience of using the app. So each book in fact, all books in our library have two modes of reading. So whenever you open or view a book, you will find two modes. One is the read to me mode, where books read to the child with word highlighting and the book pages advance on their own automatically. And the child has the ability to pause the book and play it anytime during this uh, read to me mode. The other mode is read it myself. This is when the child reads the book themselves they will have the they will have to advance the pages based on their uh, speed of reading now read to me is the default mode if you don't pick any of these modes within five seconds the books will begin to read aloud to the child and this this is how we built it for very young kids because they can continue to read and they require minimum uh, you know interaction with the app but uh, and now how do you decide which uh, stage uh, your child is. So if your child is a beginner reader, you should always use the read to me mode. Let your child listen to the book multiple times before he attempts to read it themselves. So for, for early readers, now the next stage when your child has been become familiar with the, with the vocabulary and with the pronunciations, what you do is you use the read to, mode, read to me mode but you pause at every word or every page and let the child repeat that sentence. Now for advanced uh, readers who can read everything proficiently, there's always the read myself. And if they are lazy sometimes and they want the book to read to them, then they can always use the, the read to me uh, mode and have the book read to them. So this is the first important tip of using the right mode for your child. Uh, the second is that they should be a set daily shared reading time with your child. So make it a routine at the same time every day and read at least one book together with your child. You can ask your child to read more books, but you read, you be with him or her for at least one book. And many parents have give, given us feedback that 
once they did this for one week, their child would look forward to this time together with them. And now that all parents have time during this COVID time when they are home, they can you know, at least have the, the app read to them with the child. Now, the third most important tip is that once you have read the book together, encourage your child to talk about the book. And you should ask the child questions like, what did they like about the book? What did they think of the characters? Who or what was the favorite character? Uh, what new thing they learned in the book? And now we have a dialogic reading category where there are question prompts at the end of the book, which can help parents to ask the relevant questions. Now, the fourth most important um, tip will be to let your child pick the book. Now, many studies have shown that a child is more engaged when they pick or when they have control of, of the activity that they are doing. So if you let the child pick the book, you let them advance the pages or let them pause at every page and then talk about the pictures on the page, then the child will be more engaged and would love, uh, you know, would love the experience of reading with you or with, with the app. So this is the fourth most, most important tip. The fifth and the last important tip that I want to talk today is about setting goals and rewards. Now, we all know that everybody works for rewards and goals and everybody expects to be appreciated and rewarded for any activity, positive activity that they're, they are doing. So what Smart Kids Club app does is it helps you with this. After reading each book in our app, your child will earn smart coins. And they can also earn badges after reading certain books or certain number of books. And this is what the parents can set as a target. So you can say, hey, um, I want you to have a target of 1,000, uh, earning 1,000 smart coins every day for a week. And then I'll take you out for ice cream. So you can have our uh, rewards inside the app, which you can easily track, which all, all appear on the wall of fame which they can share with family and friends for more encouragement and motivation and praise. But these other uh, rewards and badges and smart coins, which you can set targets, you can monitor, and then you can reward your child with a physical, you know, maybe a toy or physical experience of watching a movie with the child. And we also have leaderboards, which challenge the kids. So if your child is a big, a big, becoming an advanced reader and reading a lot of books, then you should challenge them to be on the top 10 of the leaderboard because our leaderboards in the app show the top 10 readers in that month. So if your child is reading a lot and earning a lot of smart coins, you can actually look at the leaderboard and see what, how many smart coins your child needs to uh, earn to appear on the leaderboard. And we have several examples and, and here is one user story. You can see the picture of this little, little child who refused to read at first, but then he read so much that he earned um, a top place on a leaderboard. And then the parent was so happy and they sent us the special message that your app has worked wonders for your child. So involve the child in the goal setting. Say, how many can you earn? So this is very important, setting goals and rewards and our app helps you do that. Now to conclude, you know, we all happily do things that are fun and make us happy. And our apps are designed to help parents make English reading and learning fun and engaging for the kids. And the goal, your goal as parents should also be to have your kids develop a love of reading. And in the beginning, it will re require some little of your time to encourage your child, sit and read with him. And our app will read out the books to you and uh, with, with the correct pronunciations, with the human expressive voice, we also have support questions that you can ask your child. So we are just making this an, a very easy experience for you. And reading aloud when they are young is extremely, extremely important and forms a foundation which will serve them well throughout high school. So they will have less trouble in middle and high school um, if they read, if they become good and proficient readers in elementary school. Trust me, I have two high schoolers now and I know that this is how um, it works out. So thank you for your time and uh, join us um, next time, same time uh, next week. Uh, and we'll be talking about top five tips for keeping children safe online.